The best move you can make in business right now is to have a cash flowing business that you can get grants for. So if you'd like us to cover your city and your state, make sure you drop your city and state in the comment section below so we can make sure that we cover you. Grants for the month of March. So this month, we have many grants, from grants for individuals, to impact grants, to beauty grants, to startup grants, to $50,000 in grants, and grants in many states. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Rindy from Ask Rindy. Welcome. Please subscribe to the number one community for real estate, income, grants, and credit. So if you'd like to know what these new grants are for the month of March, those that are expiring, they need to apply now, make sure you watch the video to the end and leave a comment below if you need help with anything. So we're going to be sharing with you new grants every month from work from home grants to SBA grants to small business grants to self-employed grants to fast grants to financial assistance grants to startup grants and much more. And we're going to be updating our calendar section on my website, AskUnit.com, where you can download March's grants list. So if you'd like to get your business cash flowing and learn how to properly set up your business so you can actually get grants and other resources for your business, make sure you connect with us by going to my website, AskUnit.com, clicking on grants and getting started today. From our grants masterclass to our grants resources, we actually have many things that can actually help your business not only flourish, but also get clarity on how to actually build your business properly and grow and get access to more capital for your business. So make sure you go to my website at AskUnit.com, click on Grants, and get started today. Number one, Texas, Liberty, Business Improvement Grants, $20,000 and $30,000 in grants. So the Liberty Community Development Corporation, the LCDC, in eastern Texas, has recently launched two business improvement grant programs for businesses in that location. So the first grant is called the Utility and Public Safety Grant Program. And this grant is all about helping commercial businesses in Liberty not only sustain but also grow their businesses with the help of the grant. So this grant is going to be about $30,000 in grants. And the grants can be used for utility improvements, fire upgrades, as well as security systems, etc. Now as I shared on our channel previously in the past, there are many grant programs all around the country to incentivize businesses to grow specifically in the commercial sector when it comes to vacant and also commercial spaces. And this grant actually has similar criteria in that it is a reimbursement grant. So they'll be giving you up to 50% for the expenses. Now the second grant is actually a facade improvement grant. Now this grant is actually going to be for $20,000 and you can actually use this grant for everything from landscaping to signage, etc. Now to qualify and to apply for these grants, the $20,000 and also the $30,000 in grants, you must provide the following criteria to apply. Number one, you must have a W-9. Number two, you must be located in Liberty. And finally, number three, you must be a for-profit business. So to get more information and apply for this $20,000 and $30,000 in grants, you can actually go directly to their website at libertycdc.org. Number two, Nebraska, the Small Business Assistance Act Grants. $25,000 for individual startups and $12,500 for businesses. So the LB 450 Act in Nebraska has made it possible for small businesses as well as individuals that are actually having startup businesses to apply for two grant programs. So the first grant program is for individual startups. Now this actual grant program is quite unique in the country in that it's $25,000 for individuals that are actually looking to start up a business. Now we deal with grants from all around the country in many different states and this is actually one of the most generous ones when it comes to individuals for startups. So this is actually one that we highly encourage you to apply for if you fit the criteria. So under the criteria to apply for as an individual for a startup, you must fit the following criteria. Number one, you must not have earned more than $55,000 in earnings last year. Number two, you must not have a net worth of over $200,000. And number three, this must be your only business. So this must be your sole business. If you actually fit the criteria, you can actually apply for $25,000 as an individual for starting up a business. Looking actually to start and launch out a business, you can actually apply for that under this grant program. Now for their grant program for businesses, they've allocated $12,500 to give as a grant award to small businesses. Now you must meet the following criteria if you're a small business and you're applying for this grant. You must have actually been in business for more than five years and you also must have had a profit margin no more than 25%. In addition to that, your net worth cannot have exceeded $200,000, and also, this must be your only and sole business. Now, this grant program is actually being administered through Grow Nebraska, and they're currently in the pre-application phase. So, if you actually like to learn more about this $12,500 for businesses and $25,000 for individual startups, 
the program will be launching in March. So in the beginning of March, they'll finally actually have gone through their entire process and queued up and they're ready to actually launch the program in the beginning of March. So that's why we're sharing it. So you're ready to actually apply for this if you fit the criteria. So I shared, they actually have pre-applications currently open. So you can actually see the criteria and actually start to pre-fill the application if you're going to be applying for the grant. So if you'd like to learn more about this $12,500 and $25,000 in grants, it's free money you don't have to pay back, you can actually go directly to their website at grownebraska.org. Number three, New York, the Avenue Commercial Revitalization Grant Program, $300,000 in grants. So the Small Business Services in New York recently announced hundreds of thousands of dollars in new grants available for small businesses as well as small shops and storefronts. To date, since the pandemic, New York has lost up to 30,000 stores. So there are many vacant small shops available as well as storefronts and they want to actually fill those vacancies. So the Small Business Services actually has several grant programs, one of them being this commercial revitalization grant program where they actually target low and moderate income areas and storefronts to be able to help lift them, give them the capital that they need to not only fix up their location but also help their business get on its feet. So as part of this new allocation of these $300,000 in grants that's available, they're actually going to be targeting up to 200,000 businesses to be able to help them with grants to be able to fix up their locations. Now the way the program works is that they actually flow the money through CBDOs or Community Based Development Organizations. Now I've shared about these here on my channel previously in the past. There are many different sources for grants and CBDOs are one of them. So you actually want to make sure that you're aware of what CBDOs are near you or actually fit the criteria for your location because they're allocated all across the country. Now these are actually what we talk about when we talk about grant sources. They're grant sources that you want to be tapped into, such as CBDOs, BDIs. These are actual sources where they actually disseminate grants. They receive funds for businesses and they actually then connect through and work with local development corporations or merchant associations, etc. to be able to help businesses get access to capital, to repair their businesses, to grow their businesses, to actually foster more economic growth in the location because it actually leads back to more tax revenue for the city and also the state. So as I shared, this grant program is actually being administered through the Small Business Services. They're a great source to tap into, specifically if you're in New York. They actually have various grant programs that actually fit uh, not only communities, but also they can actually help your business to be able to foster and also grow your business. So to qualify and to apply for this up to $300,000 in grants, as I shared, this will be going to local development corporations. So you need to actually be connected with them and tap in with them. And your business must be a for-profit business as well as New York based. And you must be compliant with the city and the state. So this is important to actually make sure that you're in compliance when it comes to taxes, your taxes are paid, etc. You're going to find this recurring theme with many states where, especially if they're state run and they actually have to do with the municipalities, they want to make sure that you've actually paid your taxes. You just keep that in mind. So the deadline for this grant program is going to be May 22nd. And you can get more information and learn about this grant program as well as the local development corporations and merchant associations that's connected with them by going directly to their website at nyc.gov. Number four, Delaware, the EDGE grant, $50,000 and $100,000 in grants. So Delaware is currently made available the first round of their EDGE grant program for the spring. So EDGE stands for Encouraging Development, Growth, and Expansion. And they're going to be focusing on two types of businesses for this grant program, STEM-based businesses and non-STEM-based businesses. So STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and also Mathematics. Now the STEM-based businesses are going to be allocated $100,000 in grants while the non-STEM business are going to be allocated $50,000 in grants. And these $100,000 and $50,000 in grants can be used from everything from equipment purchases to website development to ads as well as rental assistance. Now for this year, to qualify and to apply for the $50,000 or $100,000 in EDGE grants, you must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must use either the STEM or the entrepreneur templates to apply for this grant. Number two, you must be located in Delaware. Number three, you must have been in business for at least seven years. And finally, number four, you must have 10 employees or less. And the deadline to apply for this $50,000 or $100,000 in grants is March 1st. So to get more information and apply for this grant, you can actually go directly to their website at business.delaware.gov. Number five, the Inclusive Beauty Fund, $10,000 in grants. So L'Oreal, the beauty brand, has announced the second round of its Small Business Support Grant Program. So this time, L'Oreal is teaming up and partnering up with the Hispanic Federation to give out 20 one-time grants of $10,000 to entrepreneurs. 
So the goal of these grants is to actually help beauty brands and beauty entrepreneurs. It's not only going to give them the $10,000 in cash support, but it's also going to give them the opportunity to get mentorship from L'Oreal as well as access to resources. And as I shared, this grant is actually going to be administered and actually overseen by the Hispanic Federation. And to qualify and to apply for this $10,000 in grants, they've made the criteria pretty simple to apply for. Number one, you must be a U.S. resident. Number two, you must be 18 years or older. Number three, you must be a for-profit business. And number four, you must be a title holder or an executive of the company. So you must be a CEO, a CFO, you must be a manager, you must be someone who actually holds a title to actually apply for this grant. So this is $10,000 that's available for beauty entrepreneurs. There's also the Beyonce grant that's currently going on currently for beauty entrepreneurs. So this is a good thing for the beauty community. So the deadline to apply for this $10,000 in grants is March 29th at 6 p.m. And you can get more information and apply for this grant by going directly to their website at hispanicfederation.org. Number six, Michigan, Flint. The Moving Flint Forward Grant, $10,000 in grants. So the Flint and Genesee Economic Alliance, along with GM, has opened up the fifth round of the Moving Flint Forward Grant Program. So we've talked about the Moving Flint Forward Grant Program on my channel here over the last few years. So since 2019, they've actually allocated and given out over $1.2 million to 68 businesses, helping many businesses throughout Michigan. So this time, the Moving Flint Forward Grant Program is targeting 17 businesses with $10,000 in grants. Now they've also set aside $5,000 in grants for an additional seven businesses that are already Moving Flint Forward alumni. So this is actually good news for those who are actually already existing alumni. So to qualify and to apply for this $10,000 in grants, you must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must be located in Flint. And number two, you must have 20 or less employees. And the deadline to apply for this $10,000 in grants is March 15th at 5 p.m. So if you'd like to apply for this $10,000 in grants, or if you're actually an alumni and you want to apply for the $5,000 in grants, you can actually go directly to their website at developflintandgenesee.org. Number seven, the Gusto Impact Awards, $10,000 in grants. So Gusto, a payroll company, has recently launched the new Gusto Impact Awards. So this is actually a new grant program that they've launched based on noticing and studying migration patterns. So Gusto, a payroll company, has researched and actually looked at trends as to where people are actually moving to, where businesses are actually spawning or growing the most. And they found three cities that have the highest rate of business formation, and that's where they're targeting with the Gusto Awards Grant Program. So as I've shared, most of these businesses and entrepreneurs, whether they're companies or, or states, they actually have a, a purpose on doing this. This is actually a payroll company, and they're launching a grant program in markets where businesses are actually forming. Now, businesses that are forming, who do you think that's actually going to be uh, their customer long term? It's going to be those businesses. So they're launching a grant program in these following cities, Atlanta, Orlando, as well as Austin. So the way the grant program works is that they're actually going to be giving these businesses $10,000 in cash, $50,000 in advertisement, and one year free of Gusto payroll service. So to qualify to apply for this $10,000 in grants, you must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must have 75 or less employees. And number two, you must have $7 million or less in revenue. Now for this grant, you don't have to be a Gusto customer to apply for it. You can actually apply for it if you're not a Gusto customer, but you must be in one of those three cities that I shared, which is going to be Atlanta, Orlando, or Austin. So the deadline to apply for this $10,000 in grants is March 14th, and the winner will be announced in April. So if you'd like to apply for this grant, you can actually go directly to their website at Gusto.com. Number eight, Maryland, the Business Boost Grant Program. $20,000 to $50,000 in grants. So Governor Moore just recently announced a new Community Development Grant Program as well as Business Boost Grant Program. So they've allocated about $10 million for this initiative to not only do the community development, but also help these businesses with boosting their businesses. Now specifically for businesses, they're actually gonna be facilitating this grant program through their Project 2.0 program. And the grant program is actually meant to help activate vacant spaces, startup businesses and help them with startup costs as well as create jobs. Now out of the $10 million, they set aside $2 million specifically for businesses. So the $8 million is actually going to be going for community development, while the $2 million is actually going to be part of the Business Boost Grant Program. As part of this grant program, they actually want to focus on sustainable communities. So they're encouraging home-based businesses that really want to launch out and get retail and start to actually work and operate their businesses in the public where they actually can meet customers through their companies and also through their storefronts, they're encouraging those businesses to actually apply for this grant because they're actually going to have 
preferred uh, ranking when it comes to applying for this specific grant. They want to really help businesses that are looking to convert from home base to actually storefront and retail, which will actually help drive more tax revenue. So there's more foot traffic and more activity for storefronts in the local municipalities. So to qualify and to apply for this $20,000 to $50,000 in grants, you must meet the following criteria. Number one, you must be located in Maryland. Number two, you must be an MBE designate. So you actually must be a minority business enterprise designation. You must have that. And finally, number three, you must be a for-profit business. So the deadline to apply for this $20,000 to $50,000 in grants is March 13th. You can actually get more information and apply for this grant by going directly to their website at dhcd.maryland.gov. So these are just a few of the new grants for the month of March. We couldn't include all the grants as we try not to keep the videos too long. But if you'd like us to cover your city and your state, make sure you drop your city and your state in the comment section below so we can make sure that we cover you. Also, if you'd like to actually properly set up your business, you want to get grants for your business, you want to actually want to set up a cash flowing business, see how you can actually make your business more profitable. Maybe your business has been dormant. Maybe you need help in order to actually not only grow your business, but figure out a way forward. How do you actually get more customers? How do you properly market your business? How do you use social media to scale and grow your business? I build million dollar businesses and I actually actually show you how to actually build businesses not only online, but also offline. So if you'd like to tap in with us and learn more about how we can actually help you set up a cash flowing business, how we can actually help you get grants for your business, make sure you go to my website at ashkinet.com, click on grants and get started today. You actually see many resources including our grants masterclass and other resources that we can actually help you to not only get grants for your business as an income stream, but also get your business properly set up and actually start to move forward so you actually have a better year this year than ever before. So we look forward to actually seeing you inside. Make sure you go to my website at ashkinet.com, click on grants and get started today. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me anytime. My email address is askrandynetwork at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.